Ashley Tisdale's back in the role that made her a star as Sharpay Evans. She's coming to the Big Apple in Sharpay's fabulous adventure. But instead of instant stardom, she winds up playing second banana to her dog. Here's a scene. Nothing is turning out the way I planned it. Plan A, live in a penthouse and star on Broadway. Plan B, I uh, don't have a plan B. What do I tell my father now? That you came to a very special city determined to be someone very special, which you are. Oh, I'm not so special. I'm just like everyone else. Maybe a little better. Dude, look at it this way. Boy is your dog, and he has an opportunity. So, be happy for him. You're right. I'm being, you know, what, what's the word? When you do something for yourself, even though it's not so good for other people. Selfish? No. Oh, yeah. Ashley Tisdale, it's great to have you here again. Sharpay, making trouble. Um, she's trying to conquer Broadway in this film. Tell us how all the crazy trouble that she gets into. Yeah, you know, for Sharpay, she's always been the character that just gets everything that she wants. And she comes from a very lavish lifestyle, but when she gets to New York, everything is just not turning out the way she planned. <laughs> and how is her character different than the one you played? Because I understand that she sort of evolves a little yes, bit yeah. as a character. I mean, she's still the Sharpay that everybody knows from High School Musical in the very beginning of the movie, but obviously, you know, going to New York on her own and all the little, you know, adventures that she has, she definitely evolves and, and grows up. Okay, so Sharpay has these Broadway dreams, and I imagine it's something you can relate to, because I understand that as an eight-year-old, you actually played in Les Mis on Broadway. I mean, yeah. for an eight-year-old, that's got to be both daunting and thrilling. I was so <laughs> excited. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, actually. What was it like? Well, I had seen the show. My parents brought me to the show on Broadway, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I want to do that. And so when I went into it, I auditioned for the national tour, and I got it, and they said I had a, nat you know, a natural voice. But um, I thought that I'd be like hearing the song in my ear, like I had headphones on, and I'd be singing to that, and I was just like, did not know I was getting myself into. That you were just going to have to free form Yeah, I was like, it. whoa, wait, you have to know it by heart? And and in stuff? front of a live audience, which is so different than when you do a film. Oh, yeah, which it was is so scary. Difficult. It was nerve-wracking, but I... It, you know what? I was eight years old and it taught me so much about the business and I, I definitely, you know, grew from that and uh, yeah, it's it seems crazy. like a lot of um, film actors go back to Broadway. Would you want to go back? Maybe, maybe later down the road. I think right now I just, I really love, you know, I'm on a TV show, The Hellcats on mm -hmm, CW, yeah. so I, I love doing that and then also I want to do more movies. I also have a production company and then, you know, I feel like since I've had a touch of it, I, I've already kind of done that, but um, but maybe, yeah, in the future. You know, a lot of actors, um, when they've played a character and they become famous for it, they, they then want to sort of distance themselves. But you've sort of embraced your character of Sharpay. Do you just love playing her? Is she fun to play? She is a lot of fun to play, but I always look at it like, you know, I feel that I'm here today because of the fans loving that High School Musical series, and I just felt like this was such a great ending to this character that gave me so much. And I want to grow, you know, with my fan base and... Uh, I, I think that, yeah, I, I don't try to, you know, run away from it. I think that you could always do edgier roles later in life. Yeah, absolutely. There's plenty of time for that. You're very young. Um, it, you, you obviously are friends with your with your char other characters on High School Musical, Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. Do you guys ever just sort of talk and think, wow, this has come so far from basically a TV series to this huge, you know, movie franchise and all the other soundtracks and everything that came along with it? It was a TV movie. It wasn't a TV series. Okay, a but, TV movie, um, right. But yeah, no. Time, oh my gosh, there are so many times where we'd be like, I can't believe we're, you know, on the Billboard charts and I can't believe we're getting number one album of the year and then we're in concert playing in South America for like 80,000 people so a night it was pretty crazy it was such a you know crazy ride but yeah we we constantly you know go this was amazing but you know it was the fans that obviously you know brought us to where and we are and it's global because you know I was based in China a couple of years ago and high school musical huge there like I know, everybody so knows insane. who you are <laughs> it's crazy two million, I mean two billion people um let's talk about Hellcats and how that's going and is, is that going to continue yeah, um, we hope so. And uh, it's been, you know, a lot of fun. We did 22 episodes. Uh, we're on hiatus now. And uh, actually, the new episodes come back on April 19th, as well as Sharpay, you know, coming out on DVD. So I'm super We've excited. Got a lot going on. April 19th is a big day. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, no, we're having a lot of fun. It's very different. You know, it, it definitely, I feel like it's, you know, 
from coming from Disney Channel, it's just you know great to be on the CW. It has a teen audience, so it's definitely the kids that loved High School Musical one are in college now too. So right, they're growing <laughs> it's been a couple with you, years. Like you yeah, say. yeah. Um, you've released several albums. Any more music in the plans? Not right now. Okay. I've just been you know I was in Vancouver for eight months shooting the show, and uh, now obviously promoting the movie and, and looking at other roles. So uh, yeah, not yet. Maybe later. All right. Well, we'd love to hear more music from you. And Thank I you. love your hair, by the way. Thank I you so much. I love that color on you. It looks great. Thank you. Ashley Tisdale, thanks so much. Thank you. And the movie is Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure. It'll be on available on DVD on April 19th, as Ashley said.